guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review. This movie is a dark, dark comedy from Germany, German language English subs, released in the year 2015, directed by Nikias Christos, and this movie is called Der Bunker. So Der Bunker is about this man, he needs a place to rent because he's doing a thesis and he wants peace and quiet. So he answers this advertisement for a room for rent that is in this very secluded snowy mountain area in Germany. And so when he gets there, he realizes that this house is kind of like a bunker, that it's underground and that there's no real sunlight coming through. So it's not exactly what he wanted but it's quite enough so he ends up accepting the, the offer. So he, he meets the father and the mother and he also meets a very strange individual that's he, they're basically their son. Now their son is 30 years old but he's got the mentality of an 8 year old and he really doesn't learn very well. So he's been homeschooled by his father but that's not working. The parents are not happy with his progression so they make a proposition to this guy known only as the student and they say to him look you won't have to pay rent if you can teach our son and if our son improves in his education then that's it you won't have to pay anything so reluctantly he accepts this offer he has to juggle his own work with the work of teaching but then as he teaches this kid more uh, this man child more he starts to realize that something is off about this bunker and that it uh, whatever is happening is having a ne negative effect not only on this family but it's starting to suck this student in as well which basically proves to be a very eerie danger that he's not quite aware of but he's going to become aware of by the time it finishes. So what that danger is, is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Der Bunker. This was an, absolute, an absolutely exceptional film, but I will say it's definitely not for everybody. If you like your films that have, do have standard storytelling and that they're very clear in what they're trying to do, then you're not going to like this one. But if you like European cinema, then I would highly recommend Der Bunker because I just think it was so much more than just a, a dark comedy. And it's so much more than just a silly sort of exaggerated, bizarre experience. You've got an underlying message that actually keeps it grounded in reality and it's more a symbolization than it is opposed to something that is is just there to be exploitative. So the movie does hit you on some pretty disturbing themes, but it's never there to shock you. It feels like it's symbolising something so much deeper. And so these characters, what you initially see on the screen is not initially what you get. It actually feels like a treat, in that the way the movie progresses, you start to realise, okay, this is something so much more than what I'm seeing on screen. This is actually dictating and telling you something that is actually relevant in today's society. And that relevance is concerning the fact of parenting and how uh, scary it can be when your child grows up and you want your child to be young all the time because you want to protect them all the time and so as the movie goes along you start to believe that these parents had good intentions but their way of raising their son is having a great a negative effect and it's basically hurting him a lot more than protecting him so it's that overprotective nature that feels very eerie in the film is because when this guy this main character comes along you start to believe he's the cat amongst the pigeons and he's actually opening Klaus the, the, this young uh, man uh, his name is Klaus when this teacher is opening Klaus's eyes you start to suspect that maybe the parents are getting a little bit aggressive and a little bit desperate because they don't want their young son to leave the nest and so it was very interesting in the way it did that is that it intertwined some very very disturbing moments some very bizarre moments this is an incredibly bizarre film so a lot of people might not like that but I really like weird movies and so if you like movies like Calvair or another German film called Der Samurai then chances are you're going to really appreciate the way that the bunker is it actually felt very visual it was very vibrant in its colouring it felt very cosy inside this bunker which sort of symbolised to me the nest you know a uh, little bird when it comes uh, time to fly from the nest how scary that can be because on the inside you have this claustrophobic atmosphere that is very cosy and it actually gives you the impression that it's safe and the outside world is very snowy and very harsh so that symbolizes the outside world as opposed to the inside you know the nest and when it comes time to fly from the nest how dangerous that can be and so the situation does spiral out of control in a very strange way and I just really like the way that it told its story I thought the acting was fantastic the main character the teacher he was actually from De Samurai so he's actually a very good actor and he, he does does a fairly good job, but the, per uh, the person who really steals the show is the person who plays Klaus. Klaus is this 30 something year old man who's got the mentality of an 8 year old, and once again he's the product of his parents who are also played very well. Uh, they are very strange, but they do have heartwarming qualities to them. So no uh, character in this film feels like they're wasted, it always feels like they're very three dimensional to the, to the point where you feel, okay, on one side 
you've got this comedic character, but on the other side, you've got this very relatable character that actually is the symbolization of real world. And so for that reason, it does give you a lot of heartwarming sort of element to the film that combines to make it so much more than you would initially think. So not a lot of films can do this, and I thought this movie did it absolutely brilliantly. I thought the soundtrack was fantastic, very strange, and it contributes to the atmosphere. The overall setting of the bunker is basically a one setting film, which takes place inside this house. It felt like this is the whole world. It felt like this was sugar-coated, but it had a very eerie sort of value to it. So it is a horror film and the way that these parents react to this teacher when they start to realise Klaus is changing from the person they want him to be, it actually starts to get a little bit scary. But as I said, it doesn't exploit it. It doesn't force feed it to you, therefore it does slowly creep up on you. So it is a fairly slow burn sort of film but it doesn't really feel like it's wasting anything. I thought the ending was very heartwarming. I actually really like the way this finished. And that's uh, a rarity because a lot of films really don't know how to finish themselves. But this movie definitely ticks all the right boxes when it comes to endings and so overall what you get is just an incredibly bizarre experience but a very very uh, strangely uplifting experience as well so it's heartwarming it's funny the script is absolutely fantastic the acting is phenomenal there are some scenes that will actually provoke you and actually some scenes that make you feel very very awkward there's a lot of awkward quality to this movie that actually contributes to that very strange atmosphere and so if you like your standard storytelling, then as I said, the Der Bunker is not for you, but if you like your European films, I would highly recommend you check this movie out. It has a whole lot of layers to it, a whole lot of experiences. You can really enjoy it. Very entertaining, but it also provides something that you can discuss at the end of it. So overall, for Der Bunker, going to give it four and a half stars. I thought this film was absolutely fantastic. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching movies, and I'll see you later.